Okay, this uh, tutorial is going to deal with solving equations, linear equations that have rational coefficients or rational numbers in them. This is section 1.6 and in the Math A30 course and it's solving linear equations with rational numbers in them. So you could have fractions, decimals, and other types, uh, maybe even roots and stuff like that. But we're going to look at four areas probably in our examples. We're going to look at fractions, uh, probably look at uh, use of brackets and brackets in there. We're going to look at fractions that have binomial tops and we'll probably look at an example that has decimals in them. So in the first tutorial, I'm going to go through a fraction example. So this one is a fraction example. Okay, so I've chosen an example here that's going to work for us. And it would be uh, 1 half x subtract 2 thirds y is going to equal 7 thirds. That's going to be equation A and then B uh, will be 3 quarters x plus a fifth y is equal to 11 over 10. So our first goal in this area is to look and decide how do we want to eliminate the denominators in each of the equations, and each of them are going to be treated independently. So we've got to look at equation A. We'll think to ourselves, we've got to find a common denominator so that we can eliminate the denominator there between 2 and 3. So the common denominator is what we want to find first. So find the common denominator. And multiply through for each equation. And you have to make sure you multiply through uh, in each expression. So the common denominator for this one would be 6. So I want to multiply by 6 right through here. So I have this becoming 1 times 6 is 6 over 2x. This becomes negative 12 over 3y. And 7 times 6 is 42 over 3. So that's our equation A. The common denominator here is different. 4, 5, and 10. Well, it can't be 10 because multiple 4 doesn't have a multiple that's equal to 10. So if we move up to 20, it'll work. So we have 20 there, 20 there, and 20 there. That'll work out well. So multiply everything here by 20. So that leads us into 3 times 20, which is 60, over 4x, minus 20 over 5y, equals, well, 11 times 20 is 220, over 10. Okay, so we found the common denominator of each equation and we multiply through. Then we reduce the equation. So 6 over 2, that's 3x minus 12 over 3, that's 4y, and 42 over 3 is equal to 14. 60 over 4, that's 15x. Oops, this is a plus sign here, right? Plus sign, plus sign. Make sure we don't make those mistakes. Uh, this would be plus sign. So 20 over 5y, that would be 4y, equals 20, well, 22, 220 over 10. So now we would solve these question, uh, this question using 
substitution or elimination method uh, just as we did in the past. So we can see that the elimination method, so we'd solve this using elimination would be the easiest one. By all we have to do because it's already set up for us nicely, there's a negative 4y and a positive 4y, you just add the equations. Won't always be set up like that for you. Sometimes you'll have to do some manipulation before. Uh, but this worked out really well for us. We just add the equations. So I have 18x, that comes to 0, equals 36. So x is equal to 2. So then we would solve for y, given that we know x is equal to 2. So we could choose one of those original equations. So 1 half of x, which is 2, minus 2 thirds y, unknown, is equal to 7 thirds. To work it through, 2 times 1 is 2 over 2, which is 1 minus 2 thirds y equals 7 thirds. So let's eliminate the, do the same kind of thing we did up here. Eliminate the denominator by common, this one would be like 1 over 1. So common denominator would be 3. So multiply everything by 3. So this would be 3 minus 6 over 3, which would be negative 2y. And this would be um, equal to 7 times 3, 21 over 3, which is equal to 7. Solve for this. Add 3 to both, or sorry, subtract 3 to both sides. Negative 2y is equal to 4. Divide by negative 2, and we get y is equal to negative 2. So our solution is equal to 2, negative 2. And our last step then is to reassure ourselves by a check that that would be correct. And we'll use the other equation. So 3 quarters of x, which is 2, is going to be added to 1 fifth of negative of y, which is negative 2. And that's going to give us 11 tenths. So using our fraction skills, this is 6 over 4 times 1, which is and this would be negative 2 over 5. Well, we have to do a common denominator here to subtract these two. We don't have to worry about that right now. So the common denominator here would be 20. So multiply by 5 over 5. Multiply by 4 over 4. Or if you're multiplying by 5 over 5, that's 1. You're not changing the value. And you're not changing the value by multiplying by 4 over 4. So this would be equivalent fractions, 30 over 20, subtract 8 over 20 is equal to 11 over 10. And if we work that out, 22 over 20 is equal to 11 over 10, which is true, because if we reduce this down, we'll get 11 over 10 as well. So we know that we are correct there. Let me just, I think I'm out of the field of view, so I'll slide that up a bit. There we go. My apologies. And... That's our first example with fractions, and our next tutorial is going to have, uh, we're going to do an example again with fractions, but with binomial tops on it, and that'll be in my next tutorial.